Sun's House boat got stuck on the sandbar after being parked there for over four days. The river went down at least two feet, maybe three. Here's how we got it unstuck. <laughs> Totally. I totally gotta get video. Well, when they parked a few days ago, they were. Well, the water's got down a lot. Yes, six inches a night. Yeah. Yeah, we had to do the same thing. We weren't, we weren't doing good either. And we just got a little tiny bit. They're putting weight on the front to get the back end up. That's what they're gonna attempt to try to do. And then push the back end out? And then they should get another boat to try to pull it. Well, they can use a skiff. Oh, yeah. They've been using it to dig the dirt up, you know, just running the propeller to dig the sand out from under it to help. That's how they were able to even move it as far as they have. How long has it been here? Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah. I think they got here Wednesday. What are they doing there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's tilting this way. Oh my god! It's a rocket. To open up the underneath probably. Either way I'm getting video of this. Until my phone dies. It's moving, it's moving. Jamie, you need someone to sit in the front of the skiff? Jim, you need someone in the front of the skiff? <laughs> oh my god. There will be. I think they got her done. Captain Beard. Come on, Greybeard. <laughs> awesome. I can't believe it happened. I can't believe they got it out. I'm shocked. I am in total shock. <laughs> Great job. Thank you, everybody. Great job. Dogs are clapping. <laughs> Boaters are the best. Happy 4th of July, everyone, from the St. Croix River in Hudson, Wisconsin. 